How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here with another video. So, of course, another week of NFL football upon us, which means it's time for the NFL Week 14 picks. As we got five weeks remaining in the season, we're in that sprint to the finish. So, of course, up for Week 14, this is also the last of the bye weeks as we have the final six teams will take their byes this week. And those six being the Atlanta Falcons, Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers, Indianapolis Colts, New Orleans Saints, and the Washington Commanders. So, of course, last week with my picks, I went 12-2-1 with my picks. So, my record goes to 123-70-2. So, had a really good week last week. So, also, last, also for the second year in a row, we enter week 14 with no teams locked into the playoffs. But last week, we did eliminate two teams from the playoffs, and those being the Houston Texans and the Chicago Bears. So both teams have been sent to elimination station into the death note, which means those two are eliminated, and 16 imposters still remain at large. So, of course, we're going to have playoff and elimination scenarios the rest of the year, which is why the picks are all the way to the left of the screen again. But anyway... With all that said and wrapped up, let's go ahead and let's jump right into the picks this week. Hope for another solid week two. So, to our first game, the Thursday night game. Well, do you like shitty football teams and shitty football games? Well, then Thursday night football is the place for you. Because we got the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Rams playing the Los Angeles. A battle of two fucking trash-ass teams on Thursday night. But hey, I guess somebody has to play on Thursday night. Like, to be honest, I wish the Thursday night games could get flexed like the Sunday and Monday night games, too, so we get the best matchups possible instead of having to... Sh like, if you honestly want people to give a shit about Thursday night football, especially on fucking Amazon, then just stop putting the shitty teams against each other on Thursday night, then. But yeah, also for this game, there's elimination scenario where the Rams, they can be eliminated from playoff contention. With a loss or either wins from the Seahawks and the Giants. And the Rams also, they got Baker Mayfield now coming in as they claim them off waivers. Could play Thursday with John Wolford dealing with a neck injury. And Stafford pretty much out for the year. I got the Raiders in this one. I think the Rams are just a complete mess right now. Injured to hell and back. I think the Raiders win this game. And I think the Rams will become the first team. Since the 2016 Broncos, they'll become the first Super Bowl ch the reigning Super Bowl champion to miss the playoffs the following year since the 2016 Denver Broncos. But yeah, I got the Raiders 22 to 19. Give me the Raiders by three over the Rams. All right, to our next game, we got the New York Jets, Buffalo Bills playing in Buffalo. Of course, the Jets they got that division win against the Bills a few weeks ago shockingly, but I think Buffalo will get the win over the Jets this time. I think Buffalo wins this in a close one, 21-20. Give me the Bills by a point in this one. Next game, Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals playing in Cincinnati. The Bengals still trying to keep pace with the Ravens for the AFC North lead. Um, the, te the Browns coming off the big win into the Sean Watson revenge game against the Texans. But I feel like I'm going to take the Bengals in this one. I think they split the season series with um, Cleveland. Um, I just I just feel like the Browns, it's just, they're just too far out of it. I think it's too, I think it's too little too late to try and salvage the season. Maybe for the Browns, maybe try and build some momentum for next year. But too little too late for the Browns. I'm going to take the Bengals 22 to 21. Give me Cincinnati by a point in this one. Next game. Houston Texans, Dallas Cowboys playing in Dallas. Yeah, I got the Cowboys in this one. Texans are still continuing their tank for Bryce Young. I got the Cowboys 21 to 15. Give me Dallas by six over the Texans in this one. Now to our next game. We got the Minnesota Vikings, Detroit Lions playing in Detroit. Minnesota clinches the NFC North with a win. Um, I do not think it's going to happen this week. I think the Lions get the revenge uh, from week three. I think the Lions close this one out against Minnesota. And I think Detroit plays spoiler against the Vikings. And I think they'll be, and I, Detroit makes Minnesota wait another week to win the North. I think Detroit wins this one 22-19. I'm taking Detroit by three. And the way it's set up now to where at this point in the year, 
Any win from the Vikings automatically clinches the NFC North for the Vikings, while or any loss from the Lions clinches the division for the Vikings. But yeah, I'm going to take the Lions by three in this one over Minnesota. Give me Detroit by three. All right, to our next game. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tennessee Titans playing in Tennessee. Yeah, I got Tennessee in this one. I'm going to take the Titans 22-18 over Jacksonville. Just the Jaguars just are a complete mess right now. Like, the only thing that can clean that Jacksonville mess up right now is firing Trent Bulky. But yeah, I'm going to take the Titans 22-18 over Jacksonville. Give me Tennessee by 4 over Jacksonville. All right, to our next game. We have the Philadelphia Eagles, New York Giants playing at MetLife in New York. Of course, for the Eagles, playoff implications on the line in this one. As the Philadelphia Eagles, they can clinch a playoff spot with a win or either losses from Seattle and San Francisco. Yeah, I got the Eagles in this one. Just the Gi I think the Giants are about to fucking collapse after having a solid start to the year. I think they have another collapse, another late season collapse. Especially after coming off that fucking tie against the Washington Commanders. Like, how the fuck did you tie that game? Especially whiffing on a 58-yard field goal. But yeah, give me. The, I'm going to take the Eagles over the Giants in this one, 22-19. I think, you know, Philadelphia just had the Giants number for a bit. I think that continues. I'm going to take the Eagles, 22-19. Give me the Eagles by three in this one. And I think the Eagles will become the first team to clinch a playoff spot this year. All right, next up, we got the Baltimore Ravens, Pittsburgh Steelers playing in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I got Baltimore in this one. I think the Ravens take this one over Pittsburgh. I'm going to take the Ravens 23-20 to over Pittsburgh, Baltimore by three. Baltimore trying to stay ahead of Cincinnati in the AFC North Division battle. Give me the Ravens by three in this one. Next game, we got a lot of implications on the line in this one. Kansas City Chiefs, Denver Broncos playing in Denver. So, of course, Kansas City, they can clinch the AFC West, West with a win and a Charger, Los Angeles Chargers loss. Denver Broncos, on the other hand, they can also be eliminated from the playoff contention with a loss or either wins from the Jets, Ravens, and either the Bengals or the Patriots. Yeah, I got Kansas City in this one. I got Kansas City winning this one 23-20. The Broncos have just been an absolute fucking shit show this year. I would not be surprised if Nathaniel Hackett gets fired. Plus, the Chiefs trying to stay pace with the um, Bills for the number one seed in the AFC and the Dolphins as well. I got the Chiefs 23-20. Give me the Chiefs by three in this one. And I think the Broncos will be eliminated from the playoffs this week. So yeah, give me the Chiefs by three. All right, next game. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, San Francisco 49ers playing in San Francisco. Of course, Garoppolo and um, Trey Lance are both out for the year. So now they're down to, their, to a rookie seventh-round pick, Brock Purdy, a.k.a. the Mr. Irrelevant pick at quarterback. I don't know. I mean, he Purdy had a very good game against Miami, but that was off short circumstance. But I feel like if you give teams a week to prepare for him, it just won't be the same. I'm going to take Tampa Bay to win this one over San Francisco after Brady came in clutch against the Saints last Sunday, Monday night. I'm going to take Tampa Bay 22-16. Give me the Bucks by 6 over the 49ers. I just not, I just do not see it from the 49ers. Just, the 49ers always get plagued by injuries. Just sucks for them because they're a very talented team. Um, next game, Carolina Panthers, Seattle Seahawks playing in Seattle. Yeah, I got the Seahawks in this one, 23-18. I think with the 49ers' misfortunes, I think Seattle could be back in the race to win the NFC West. But yeah, give me the Seahawks over the Panthers by five in this one. Next game, we got our Sunday night game. Miami Dolphins, Los Angeles Chargers playing in Los Angeles. This is a close game that could go either way, but and of course last week the Dolphins lost their first game with Tua this year against the 49ers. I think the Dolphins bounce back, and I think they get the win against the Chargers. I'm going to take Miami to win 23-22 to to try and keep pace with the Bills for the AFC East. But yeah, give me the Dolphins by one. And with the, me having the Chargers losing, I do think the Kansas City Chiefs will be the first team in the AFC to lock themselves into the playoffs and win the AFC West. So yeah, give me the Dolphins by one in this one. 
And now, to our Monday night game. We have the New England Patriots and the Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. And Arizona, they can be eliminated from playoff contention with the loss, plus wins from Seattle and the New York Giants. I got the Patriots winning this one 20-19. I think it's going to be a close game. Give me the Pats by one. But I feel like despite the Cardinals losing, I think oh, I think two of the scenarios will be met, but the one I don't think will be met will be the Giants winning. So I think with that said, I think Arizona loses, but they will stay alive in the playoffs for at least another week. But next week, they'll probably get eliminated. But yeah, give me the Patriots by one in this one. But anyway, that's all I got to say for this week. So in terms of the playoff scenarios, I think Philadelphia and the Kansas City Chiefs will lock themselves into the playoffs this week. While I think the Rams and the Broncos will be eliminated this week. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you whenever I make next. I'm out.